The charred remains of Grenfell Tower loom over West London. Fire crews have been going from floor to floor, shoring up the crumbling building as they go. The higher they reach, the more bodies they discover. It could be many weeks before we know exactly how many people died here. We want justice! The community is in mourning, but there's also growing rage. Large numbers of protesters converged on Kensington Town Hall in one of London's wealthiest boroughs. Right now, we just, we just need someone, someone with public authority to come stand here and just say exactly what the procedure is, not someone in Westway or someone in Rugby Centre or someone in St Mary's Hospital or X Y Z on Facebook or Instagram. We want some to come official, and talk to you official public authorities to come here. That's what we need. Nearby, the British Prime Minister's car was rushed by an angry crowd. Many blame government spending cuts for a decline in safety standards. Some extremely tense scenes here at Kensington Town Hall. After all of the uh, upset of the last few days, a lot of that has now spilt over to anger. and A crowd of probably between two to 300 people have converged here. We don't want violence, we just want justice. We don't want violence, we just want answers. How is it that 10 million, they spent £10 million on a building to get built and refurbished to make it better? How was it better a few weeks after a fire? Eight minutes it spread from the fourth floor back up to the 18th. That makes no sense. It's likely to be months or years before the criminal investigation into the fire releases its findings. The police have already ruled out arson and terrorism, but many are asking whether safety regulations were overlooked during the building's recent renovation and where the profits were put before the safety of the people who lived here. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.